My name is Tatiana McDonald. I was the set decorator on Tinker Tailor, Soldier Spy. Um, and three things you need to do my job are um, you have to have a good eye, you have to have a good sense of period, you have to be in tune with your designer. I think that's, that's three things, isn't it? I went to art school and very quickly realised that I couldn't, that I couldn't work without a brief, that I, that I wasn't an artist, I wasn't going to be painting things, that there was no vast urge to create, and that, and, and I like parameters, I like to be told we're doing this period, this is the script, these are the characters, this is the colour palette. Um, and this is, these are the images we're, we've been looking at, this is what we're after. And then it's wonderful because you know what you're doing and you go off and you just do it to your best ability. I am responsible for choosing everything to, that is not physically built. So that's every chair, every paper clip, every rug, every picture, every bit of fabric, you know, trans transforming the locations or the set into something that you that someone would believe was habitable that that existed. And then 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 there's character, so you have to interpret what the what the character in the script, what you know, what where you know, all of that, the sort of density, the detail. So that's my job, and, I, and then I work alongside an art director who does all the structural stuff, so builds the sets, textures, finishes, all of that sort of stuff. Set decoration is nebulous. It is, it's basically understanding what people need of you, having a good eye, being creative, being able to bring something to it, being able to interpret a script. I can draw, but it's not necessary, actually, for my, my job just being very, very, very thorough. When I work, for example, on Tinker Taylor, you, you, you get home and although there's nothing physically you can do, your head is, 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 is I'll sleep. And at, and, and at one point I would come across a problem in my, in my sleep and it would wake you up, you would register the problem, you'd go back to sleep and in the morning you'd have three new problems. You know, it, literally, it's, it's all in your head. So it's, it's, it's lists and lists and lists of stuff, and do I have that, and is that going to be good enough, and do I need an alternative one of those? Will that work? Is it going to come together? Because you're, you're, it's all tiny bits, it's, it's isolated objects that you're finding, and you're logging, and you're listing, and you're ordering, and at some point they will just all get on a truck, they'll come to you on various trucks, they'll come to one place, they'll all go in, and they've got to work. You haven't got time to think, oh God, no, we needed a pink sofa. Or, or you need to know it's going to come together. It's got to come together. And so that all these disparate bits have to come together. It's got to work. And then, it's, and then it's shot and then it's gone. And on Tinker, there were about three sets a day. Thomas wanted the, 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 the circus, to, he, he was already talking about it to be a sort of donut thing where you had a, an out, you had some kind of structure inside an, another, a, a, an established, ordinary looking building. So you get this quite scary block in the middle of this Victorian surround, so you can't see it from the street, nobody knows it's there. And then you get all those amazing scenes where they're looking down from, from, the, from the rooftops. So it was Thomas that, 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 that had that original, that was his, his plan. And then they found the location and it was Maria and the CGI people that, Maria did a drawing and the CGI people that managed to create that central reality. And that's why sometimes it, it, 
it could be if you didn't follow the job. I mean, my husband was going, I don't get the geography, I don't get the geography, and I explained it to him, and then when he saw it the second time, he got it. But, you know, that sometimes they're walking down staircases with glazed tiles, and it's very Edwardian, and, and, then, and, then, and then sometimes it's very brutal, and you've got these vast hangars where they, where they built the pods for the, for, for the, 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 the layers of, of, of the circus, of the central brutalist piece. It's very intuitive. It's not something that you... You, you can either do it or you can't, you know, and time, obviously, and experience helps. But you know that because you know that the, you've got a colour palette. You're, you know, you know that if, if it's within that colour palette, or it's going to work because it, you've, you've established that. Um, but you don't go out looking for a green sofa. You, it's, it's very organic. You say that would be good, and then those three choices will dictate the next six choices, and so on. So it's, 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 it's artistic in that sense. You don't go out to find exactly what's in your mind's eye or in, in your designer's mind's eye. Being nominated for BAFTA is, is, is fantastic. Um, it, it's it actually less so within the industry, but more just for people. It's very lovely for just in life in general. You know, it's very nice for people to go, oh, I saw your name on the credits of that really good film, and you're like, yes, I'm not just a mother of three. You know, that, that's how, that's, that's nice for me. I mean, eventually, you know, I've managed to get to this, this point where you manage to do work and have children and work and, you know, straddle this, this, this thing. Um, and so for me, it's just great to get some recognition for, for, for something that, you know, isn't slopping food into people's mouths or changing nappies, you know, that, that's great.